<clears throat> Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day. Here in the end times, I need to show you these chemtrail streaked skies here in paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico on this gorgeous Friday morning. Where are we? November 17th, 2017, I believe. So anyway, you're all doomsday eco ego maniac. Eco ego maniac. Uh, being Friday, I have to bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant. Uh, but before I do, before I dive in to uh, going through about 700 of the latest pieces of evidence that I have been chronicling the evidence of the collapse of this planet in about 5,000 videos over the last eight years. Before I get into that, I want to get into my hallelujah, long-awaited comment of the day, which came in one hour ago from our old buddy, the rock star of doom, Guy McPherson. So history has been made the second time this week, the first time being when I interviewed Guy uh, down there in, in the mud hut. You know the mud hut, the one that's that off-grid house that's about 50 feet away from this uh, double-wide mobile home, you, you know, totally on the grid with the washer, the dryer, the hot shower, the, the full modern kitchen. Uh, anyway, that guy McPherson, that mud hut. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't know who Guy is, so anyway, uh, Guy McPherson has finally weighed in with a comment on uh, on this historic video, this casual conversation between Hambone Littletail and Guy McPherson, which I have called, I think, in my own comments, the the, the clash of the doomsday uh, e egomaniacal narcissist. Uh, anyway, if you haven't seen that, it, it, it was one of the one of the strangest hours uh, certainly I have ever spent down here in the doomosphere. And I and, and I do once again uh, send my you know my from the heart thank you to Guy McPherson and. Uh, and his, what do you call yourself, Pauline? What is a woman in Pauline's position? I don't know what the hell these these polyamorists call themselves. Squeeze, but I would, uh, you know, I very much uh, appreciate the uh, welcoming kindness shown by Guy and Pauline. <clears throat> But anyway, that being said, um, Guy McPherson coming in at the 206th comment on our video. And uh, so this is almost history. This is actually the third comment I have ever heard, I have ever had on Humpty Dumpty Tribe from my Humpty Dumpty Tribe hero. Guy McPherson, and Guy McPherson is still my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, uh, despite it all. Uh, the first time Guy showed up on the Humpty Dumpty tribe was when he called me an asshole. And suddenly, it, it was the single biggest video of my first year in Humpty Dumpty tribe, when I was getting about 50 videos a day. and. Guy McPherson came on the comment section and called me an asshole, and I had 7,000 views. It was the number one rated video. Uh, so I learned very quickly, if you want clickbait, you need to get uh, Guy McPherson to call you an asshole. And so it is Guy McPherson that put me on the map and uh, by calling me an asshole. And then, to his credit, to his credit, uh, he came back with a very sincere apology for calling me an asshole. Damn it! And for eight years I've been trying to get the man to call me an asshole again, and I did not quite get my wish, 
but at least I do have the comment of the day and my response to it. Let me put the little doomsday dog. Uh, Pauline, uh, you're welcome. Uh, I've, I've extended an invitation to Pauline to come visit me in Sancho Panza in uh, this winter. I uh, don't think she'll take me up on it, but Pauline, uh, I, I assure you, darling, uh, I, I have nothing, nothing but compassion for you. Anyway, so uh, what does Guy McPherson have to say, short and sweet, from one egomaniac of the doomosphere to the other? <clears throat> Guy McPherson. I will not make the mistake of talking to Sam Bone again. He has confirmed his status as a serial liar, a serial liar motivated by ego instead of evidence. <laughs> there you go. Come on, guy, couldn't you have called me a fucking asshole? What do I need to do, brother, to get you to call me uh, a fucking asshole? Maybe, maybe my response to your comment, uh, Guy McPherson, calling, call, you know, uh, talking about ham bone swollen ego, and and I'm the first to admit, guys, I'm a fucking egomaniac. Uh, I own it. Unlike some people, uh, I own it. Uh, yes, I am an egomaniac. But am I motivated? by my ego instead of evidence. Well, if, if Guy McPherson would perhaps watch my 5,000 videos instead of the only videos that Guy McPherson has ever watched from Hambone, little, or, or videos about Guy McPherson, make no fucking mistake about it. Uh, there is one subject that Guy McPherson gives a flying fuck about uh, what my opinion is, and, and, and that is my opinion of Guy McPherson. He has no interest in, uh, in, in my opinion uh, of, of what is going down on this planet that, that he uh, needs to be talking about and instead of sitting here calling him a serial liar. A serial liar. Anyway... So what is the comment back from the egomaniac and serial liar not motivated by evidence? <clears throat> Finally, thank you for the clickbait, amigo. Not to mention all the new subs in the Patreon donations. I've gotten, what is it, in the past four days about 30 new subs a couple of new Patreon donations. I've, I've had at least three people tell me over the last few weeks that they have canceled their financial support of Guy McPherson and instead given it to me. So I would like, once again, Guy, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate the donations to keeping uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe on the air with my ego-centric serial lying about the state of the planet. Anyway, let's start over. <clears throat> I want to interrupt. I'm really going to read the entire comment from this dude, Hambone Littletail, to Guy McPherson. <clears throat> Finally, thank you for the clickbait, amigo, not to mention all the new subs in the Patreon donations. You have helped put me in pork chops and tequila until doomsday. <clears throat> I am still a little confused why you agreed to our casual conversation in the first place. As I stated in my apology to you six months ago, there is nothing in it for Guy McPherson to talk to me and everything in it for Hambone Little Tail. <clears throat> Guard your queen, as they say in chess. I guess this means no more hugs from the rock star of doom, but despite it all, 
you will always remain one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes for your message, which obviously you have completely forgotten with your latest sad little stunt. And I'm not going to wade into all this. Uh, if you don't know what chapter two of this sad little stunt is, you can go find it yourself. It's all over, it's splattered all over the internet. <clears throat> your sad little stunt. You have damaged yourself and everyone else down here with you in this rabbit hole. You're better than that, Guy McPherson. Come on, dude. Wouldn't it have been so much easier for you and cheaper for Pauline for you to just bone up, be a man, be a man, and take one ounce, one ounce of personal responsibility for your part in this mess you created for yourself and everyone who still manages to respect your message. It's still, and I honestly believe this, uh, guy, I honestly believe this. This is the reason you so you get me so fucking exasperated. You, you ask me why I get so exasperated with you, brother. I, I honestly believe what I'm getting ready to say to you, man. I, it still is not too late for you to stand up and say, Hey guys, I was wrong. I did something really stupid. I apologize to anyone I may have harmed by my actions, and I will try my best to not do it again. Close quote. Is it that hard for you to do that, guy? Is it that fucking hard for, for you to stand up and, and be a goddamn man You know, if I had let myself get drawn into this sad, tawdry little drama, chapters one and two, I, if you just did this, if you just did this, got up and acted like a fucking man for one minute, and if I had been part of this little gang of backstabbers uh, that you're always whining about, I would be recommending to all my fellow backstabbers to take down their statement, their, 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 their little statement uh, that has your panties in such a wide. We all know what the statement is. It might save you a few bucks in legal fees here in the end times, onward through the fog, amigo, it was fun. And with that, I am done with this conversation. Well, I, I, I have one more interview. You know, I have already interviewed, uh, I have already interviewed uh, Mike Sleva and Derek Jensen. Uh, this week in addition to Guy McPherson and I invite anybody to listen to the Guy McPherson interview particularly around minute 28 and the very last minute of the interview before the camera mercifully shut down that dog and pony show in the mud hut. Listen, li listen to that then go listen to the interviews I had with Mike Sleva and Derek Jensen. And I want you to compare them and you tell me who the man, who the men, two out of three of the interviews are with real men who have some fucking balls. Decide for yourself 
who is the egomaniacal backstabber in this sad, tawdry affair. So I'm going to have one more interview this afternoon with Mike Farragon. Mike Farragon from Near Term Human Extinction Support Group and Extinction Radio. I told, I have told Mike, he gets five minutes, five fucking minutes to say whatever he wants to say about this sad, tawdry little drama which can come to an end any time a Guy McPherson wants to stand up there and be a fucking man. And, and after that interview, I'm done with it. I was done with it two months ago. Uh, the, uh, the, the universe just, just had to stir up uh, this little th th this little shit storm down here in the Doomosphere. After I talk to Mike today, I'm fucking done with this sad little drama. And uh, while I still uh, will be respecting the message of Guy McPherson, Guy McPherson is going to disappear from this channel because I have better things to do with my ego than, than, than sit here and, and, and get dragged down into this little fucking junior high school drama. You know, uh, I, I, am, I am more pissed at myself than anybody uh, for putting, wasting as much of my goddamn energy into this bullshit. And I'm fucking done with it. Unless Guy wants to stand up and, and be a fucking man and, and just take some personal responsibility. But with that, I am going to wrap up this uh, descent in, into, uh, into tawdriness and get back to my ego-driven, uh, serial-lying, ecological meltdown roundup rant where I will get back with about 500 more pieces of evidence why, as Gu what Guy McPherson is telling us, we are so fucked, but I do not expect Guy McPherson to listen to anything Hambone Little Tail has to say about the collapse of a planet, because all Guy McPherson uh, is interested in is videos about himself. Enough said. Bye, guys. You go get that lizard. You get that lizard. A little lizard killer. Jesus.